Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, speaking as C.S. Nkonto, and I'll be presenting my work under the title, Phase Stability of Iron Aluminide Alloys, a Doping with Platinum. This is a cluster expansion approach, and this work is under the supervision of Professor P. E. Nwepe and H. R. Chauke. Now, the platinum group metals are one of the major leading transition materials, and they've actually been used all over the world for the development of lightweight steel grades for better quality as well as efficiency in their demand. They play an important role due to their excellent corrosion resistance and have actually proven to supersede those of the nickel-based super alloys. Now, this work will assist us in quantifying the competency of these materials for applications in turbines, automotive parts, paintings, for stainless steel superior protection. Our primary structure that we'll be working with is the platinum iron uh, aluminide 5050, whereby we are going to dope with platinum in any interstitial doping site to attain our tenere system in order for us to determine the phase stability of this material. As I've mentioned that there are various types of applications, such as the industrial paint coating for automotive parts. This is to improve the performance of the vehicles as well as weight reduction. Stainless steel is one of the upcoming advancements for our society as well as economy. Although it requires high energy for production, however, it is known to be eco-friendly as well as recyclable. We also note a very undesirable behavior which takes place in our hydropower facilities whereby corrosion deteriorates the performance of our facilities. Hence, this study will be trying to counteract such kind of behaviors by using the density functional theory in order for us to determine the ground state properties of our materials. However, we'll be specifically be using the cluster expansion and Monte Carlo in order for us to determine and outline both the stable and metastable structures utilizing the generalized gradient approximation using 48 core processors with five priority for 16 atoms and uh, this work is run in media we firstly look at uh, the cluster expansion ground state diagram which clearly indicates that uh, the material is thermodynamically stable since the enthalpy of formation is negative and the red line indicates the ground state structures which were generated by cluster expansion clearly indicating that the 0.5 concentration is the most stable structures. We go on further to uh, look at uh, the yield strength of the material by determining the bulk to shear modulus of the material which shows that if it is greater than 1.75 the material is said to be ductile which means that the material is actually usable for reducing the rate at which corrosion takes place within the material we go on further looking at uh, the monte carlo to determine at which concentration does uh, the material begin to mix well we note that at 0.3 concentration of platinum and 0.7 concentration of iron the structure begins to show a proper mixing at 1300 kelvin clearly indicating a phase change up until a 0.1 concentration of platinum and 0.9 concentration of our iron, uh, showing a phase change at about 1,800 kelvins. With that being said, the material can be actually promising candidate for high temperature applications. And we can conclude to say that the cluster expansion was successfully used to determine the ground state properties using the accuracy of DFT. And the analysis obtained determine uh, clearly indicating that the platinum doping on the iron aluminide improved the yield strength indicating thermodynamic stability of the material. Uh, also, the calculations clearly show that the phase stability of this tenary system is a promising candidate to improve corrosion resistance. Since the bulk to shear modulus is greater than 1.75, these materials are promising for future development of component coating and high temperature applications. With that being said, I would like to appreciate the Center for High Performance Computing for allowing me to generate a result using their cyber infrastructure. The only time we experience challenges is when there is a load shedding or there is a luster storage updating however their servers are remarkable i would like to also appreciate nrf for their funding um, university for allowing me to register for my phd work materials modeling center for their support with that being said i thank you